Well, there aren't many channels that I keep tabs on over on YouTube, one of them being Dave Colon's Computing Forever. This was a channel that I've subscribed to for quite some time. It's really the only channel I'm subscribed to. I have to say that I am alarmed and disappointed by some of Dave's recent conduct. Now, this isn't anything about possible conspiracy theorists, uh, New World Order, The Message. I'm talking about his weird obsession with Brie Larson. In particular, uh, it seems as though there is an endless supply of videos Dave can make on Brie Larson and chiefly Captain Marvel. This guy is doing one of two things. He is either so vehemently against Brie Larson that maybe she should seek some kind of legal stance against him or he's lying to his viewers i think that i am more inclined to side with the latter i believe that dave is disingenuous in his thoughts regarding brie larson the marvels the mcu the message all of these things because it makes him money he is out here giving you the content you want the same thing said for 80 videos Oh, Brie Larson is ruining the MCU. It's gotten all feminist. Okay, we get it. Here's some predictions of where did it go wrong? What exactly would happen if the Marvels came out, made a billion dollars? Could we blame Dave Colin for hyping it up for years on end? We don't need all this content, but Dave knows that you will watch. There are people watching every one of these videos. You get the same information from each one, but you get your weekly dose. You're, it's like you're on some kind of drip feed for anti-woke content. You watch one of these videos, you have to keep getting recommended more by the algorithm. It's the algorithm's fault in part. It doesn't say you want more movie reviews. It says you want more Marvel movie reviews. The same movie. If you watch this one, watch this one next. Hey, we noticed that you like the stuff about the message and the feminism is bad. Here's some more of it. He knows that he has climbed into this hole, this niche, obviously is much more time consuming to seek out a film, watch it, critique it, gather the footage, edit your video, than it is to rehash talking points on Marvel being woke. As such, Dave gives you a classic sci-fi movie review once in a blue moon while giving you a daily dose of Brie Larson bad. And it's a problem with so many political channels. We already know your stance. You're preaching to the choir. This is what an echo chamber is. There's no new information to glean. It is just, here's what you wanted to hear. Is there a weird jealousy thing here? Like, or does Dave want to date Brie Larson? Is that a possibility? Uh, because let's be honest, she has a pretty impressive rack. That's no secret, she wants you to know. So until you mix it up and start varying what you watch, seek out certain kinds of content, instead of just watching what YouTube recommends, you're gonna get more of this dreck. If you appreciate a YouTube channel that doesn't just pad out content to get to the eight minute mark, so that it can hammer you with ad breaks, then you should subscribe to my son's channel. You just got done watching it.